Hey guys, it is Christy K, and as we transition into the new year, I feel like I've done a lot of protective styles this year and I wanna get back into my wash and go. So you guys are gonna have to join me on my wash and go journey. Before I was kinda doing this, but I didn't have no hair, but my hair has grown out. So Shea Moisture made a little curl box and I don't know how long you guys have been into natural hair or doing natural hair, but at one point, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie was the jam. That's all that everyone used. So this Curl Box, I got it at Ulta. It was like $12.50. Let me see what's inside. It comes with the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Shampoo. The Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. As well as what I was talking about, which was everybody's holy grail, was the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing smoothie now i'm happy to say that it isn't a squeeze bottle before it was in a bottle like this and i just feel like that's messy and it also comes with a coupon book and it says you get five dollars off any shea moisture hair products and five dollars off any two regular products now if you know me i'm not just gonna put shampoo conditioner and one product on my hair like my hair is super thick y'all my hair is not one product's hair. So like I deep condition every week. So I bought the curl mask. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I have so many hair masks. I just bought the little mini. So we're gonna see what this thing do right here. And then I also bought the curl mousse. But even with the mousse, I still need a leave-in conditioner. But as I wash and condition, um, I'm gonna do that in the shower. I'm gonna let you guys see how this deep conditioner sits on my hair. If you have tried this before and used it before, give me a thumbs up. And if you have, also leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it. Let me know if it was worth the hype. I'm back and I washed and conditioned my hair. My hair actually feels good, looks good, but it didn't come with a deep conditioner and I got blonde hair. I have to deep condition every week. It's non-negotiable. I don't know if you can hear them gardening, but it's annoying. They garden on Tuesday. Today, is today Tuesday? Nope, today is Wednesday. So why are y'all gardening and making noise? They know I'll be having shit to do. Anyway, this is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Shine Mask. It says you're supposed to apply this and leave under heat for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna apply this amount and depending on how my hair feels when I'm done will determine if I'm just gonna go get the, the big thing because I usually use their Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave, um, Deep Conditioner. Love it, makes my hair feel Amazing. Okay, so it's applied. I'm gonna be back in 30 minutes when I rinse this out to actually do the styling portion of my hair. So I am back after letting this sit in my hair. We'll say it's been like 40 minutes because I had to go put some stuff in the laundry. And I wanted to spend more time underneath the dryer. It dried well, I have definition. It kind of dried with a little bang. Like last time I tried to do a wash and go with the bang, didn't quite work out. But my hair has grown since then. I've had a diva cut since then. And last week when I did my wash and go, I did a middle part. I'll enter a picture on how it turned out, but the middle part left me feeling weird because I felt like my hair like wasn't long enough and like maybe the bang would have been better. So I'm gonna rinse this out and I'm gonna come back and actually get to styling my hair. So my hair does feel amazing. Probably gonna add this to the lineup because my hair feels great. But I don't know that I'm completely done with the Jamaican black castor oil because I feel like it's such a staple. But being that I don't even need nothing right now, I'm just gonna chill. Um, People are always talking about like how bobby pins disappear, but I feel like as a curly girl, it's like, where do all my hair clips have? I swear at this point, I bought like at least 50 clips and I can always find like barely four, barely enough to like get started on this head, like every time. So the kit came with the shampoo, the conditioner and the curl enhancement smoothie. But um, I just feel like my hair is gonna need more. So I'm not even gonna short myself like that. Um, I did pick up the curl enhancing mousse. I'm gonna use that for more volume and then I don't know if this is gonna mix. I should probably try it together now. Like, And then this is the Make It Last Wash and Go. 
defining gel oil so it's like a gel i always set my hair with a gel but i do want to make sure that they're going to mix because i don't need flaky stuff in my hair because i'm not washing my hair again so next week because i got a six day work week and i really was supposed to do this two days ago on my day off but life happens so take a little bit of this rub it on there take a little bit of this you know what it's still clear it's gonna work y'all <laughs> wait hold on i'm also for a leave-in i don't have the leave-in i'm gonna use this tgin green tea super moisture leave-in conditioner it's not my favorite but it did leave my hair moisturizing um my favorite leave-ins also moisturize and define my hair this one do nothing with defining but i'm just gonna add a little bit of this on top just to make sure we good Ooh. let me see that kind of broke up a little bit we just gonna we just gonna say a little prayer and hope for the best because i don't have another leave-in i want to use so i don't have anything else to go with this i think i might actually have another leave-in from them but i don't know where it is and i gotta go to work for a little bit anybody got time take this leave-in apply that feels really good take this smoothie apply some of that and this smoothie i know is like the og it's like what everybody was using when youtube first started for the curly girls it was like their holy grail i actually never got into it and this cream and oil gel i don't know if you guys remember this i don't even know if they still do this collection but i really liked it it helped me elongate like when i was like in my baby like twa stages but i need hold at my hair like at the ends of my hair like i can't i don't like my hair to be soft because it doesn't last too long and when it doesn't last at this point now i'll just put it in a puff but i don't want to have to do that so so far it looks like it might be all right all right so that's the definition looks like i can work with that and then again, this volume, I only use a little bit. I, think, I mean, not the volume, the gel, the mousse. There we go. I'll use a little bit for volume at the end. So I got like one pump. I'll just take it and scrunch it on the curls. And that's going to be that. Continue this routine for the rest of my hair. You know the drill. down to the little final piece in the front i will say that i've got a lot of really good definition and then also that um this is the first time in a long time that i have not had to have a spray bottle like my hair is still wet it's still wet it's still very moisturized although something that i've started doing when i rinse out my deep conditioner unless it's a protein treatment i will kind of just like leave a little bit in there for the hydration and so maybe that's what's helping with the moisture. Just gonna do this last little round. But yeah, like no water needed. Everything is still wet, still moisturized, still very much giving slip. And it looks like these products together were a good idea. So far it looks good. I mean, when it dries, we'll see what it really is. But right now, it's given what needs to be gave. I was like taking my little dimming brush or my pattern brush, honestly, whichever one I can find make sure I brush it down so like all the products are married together and I'm fully like getting them in my hair even on like the roots because sometimes they don't get love and then you know I'm all about definition and the little shingles make sure everything is separated and defined I feel like when I first started washing going I felt like shingling took forever but I think I was doing more of like finger coiling but now that i've been in the game for you know two and a half years i'm feeling myself i feel like i'm an og now so it's just like yo one little twist and a separation all right and i'm doing it forward because i want that bang oh wait wait almost forgot the last step boost the volume take a little half a pump put it on there 
scrunch it up. I don't really want to disturb what's already happening. Whatever is left. Give my hair a good little shake. And just kind of let it fall like how it would need to fall. Take some curl defining cream and just hit them roots. Now I am going to get ready for work. Here, I'm gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna hit it with the diffuser for like five so that I don't go outside like soaking wet because it is the fall. Like I usually am not a fan of like day one here. I am like a day two, day three here kind of a girl. So I was pretty much gotten ready for work. And now I'm just gonna diffuse for like a few minutes. And you know, if you know, you know. So that's all the diffusing this hair is gonna get for today. The rest of this is gonna air dry. I'll be back this evening after work when I come home and stretch my hair and get ready for bed. At the end of my work day, my hair is completely dried and shrunken. Um, the shrinkage is real. So I'm gonna take bands, they're all different. Like some are like big bands like this, some are this. Ultimately for me, it's really like just whatever I can find because I'm gonna try to go for the bang. I'm going to take a big chunk right here and group it forward. I'm going to use a bigger band because it's longer and just wrap it around on down. Size kind of doesn't matter. Just going to use the regular bands and just bring it down I like to do this method these sections that are stretched out I do apply heat with them in the morning but like super quickly but this gets the process started so that I don't have to put so much heat on my hair so I just want to stretch the roots but I want to keep the curls on the end So now I'm all banded up and that's it. Put on my little bonnet. I'm gonna go to sleep and then in the morning, I'm gonna come back and finish my hair. It is the next morning. I'm gonna remove my little bonnet. Begin this process of finishing my stretch. I can already tell that some stretching has begun, but I like to take a blow dryer, finish the stretch. I'll take a little bit of water. Hmm. Uh, I might need to actually put some water in there. Sometimes when you put like stuff in here, your spray bottle will get stuck and you're gonna have to unclog it. I'm gonna have to unclog this one, so I'm just gonna get another spray bottle. When that happens, I just let it marinate in some steaming hot water and it'll loosen up whatever is clogging my thing. But to get back to it, just gonna spray that right there. I'm gonna turn my dryer on for like eight seconds and that's it. Boom, we got some length there. I'm gonna take this side down. It is pre-stretched a little bit, but just so you can see the difference, you see how this side hangs a lot lower. So same thing on this side. All right, this is the most important stretch because this is going to determine whether we get a baying or not. I'm like 50% sure this is going to work because I might still need more length. But let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm fine with this much hanging in the front. Let's see, let's see. So 
So when I finish, I like to take my TGIN Miracle Repair Anti-Breakage Serum slash oil and apply that to my hair. Rub it all over my hands. Scrunch. Give it a little love before I get to picking at it. I think I'm okay with this little bang. This is this is a cool little starter bang. Give it more time. I feel like we can get more out of it. I think I'm actually okay with this. Some little pieces right here that um after I dyed it and I wish call it, it didn't quite do what it needed to do, but it's cool. I got a little trick for that. Um, I am not opposed to, especially after this cut, taking me a little straw and some foam and adding some little faux curl. I'm gonna go straw my hair. I'm gonna go lay these little edges underneath. Hey guys, I'm back, it's day three hair. This is the final result. I picked it out this morning, but I wanna say I feel like day two was my best day thus far. I'm gonna enter a photo right there. But I do like these products. I see why people love them. They are super affordable. I'm not even gonna lie, if I had did all of this with my other brands like Pattern or Curl Smith that I use, those are kind of expensive would have cost a lot more money but I do love the way that my hair came out but I like it my definition is popping um I don't have a hard cast even though I use the gel oil you know once I sprayed the water on it to like refresh in the morning and picked it out I'm satisfied with it um it's worth it it's like $18 in Target I would recommend getting it from Ulta the other products were not in the box but you can always buy them in Ulta and I think Right now, and I feel like every other week, Shea Moisture is like buy one, get one half off. The Curl Mask, I would actually buy it and use it again just because I like all my products to work together. Like when I can use one thing, the whole time I will. Sometimes I like mix and match because some things are my favorite. But I am definitely satisfied. This is definitely a budget friendly wash and go. Um, so if you guys are not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification button. If you don't want to miss my hair videos, my makeup videos, I am going to be uploading weekly. With that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.